Hey coach, it's Ben Neighbors. Now in this presentation here, I'm going to be breaking down high ticket sales, why it's great for some coaches and why it's terrible for most. Now, most coaches out there that try high ticket sales, if it doesn't work for them the first time they try it, they just quit and they give up. So today I'm going to go through a clear presentation and this is for anyone that hasn't done it yet or if you have tried it, and maybe it hasn't worked the way that you want. I'm going to go over some key points here that I've experienced myself. Uh, I've been doing high ticket sales for almost nine years now. Um, and a lot of coaches that we end up working with that make this work, I'm going to show the things that they're doing really, really well at and the things that most people fail with. So please watch this video. I recommend, um, you should be able to see me here, take out a pen, piece of paper, uh, we have another video on our channel uh, where we talk about going from zero to 500 clients. That's one of our most popular videos. And I know one of the things that a lot of coaches do is they wrote notes during that video. So this is very similar. You want to write notes here. And we're going to start with the positives. So if you are just like really wanting to dive into this and you have these qualities that I'm about to share here, uh, share with you here. High ticket sales is awesome for you. All right. So it is great for you. If you want to just close three plus three K deals per month. Now, if you do that, if you just run the numbers on that, if you make three K per deal and you sell at least three of those per month, you're making $9,000 per month. Now, that 3K could be split up between like two payments of 1,500, 3K all up one, at once, 2K down, 1K in 30 days from now, uh, 1,500 now, 1,500 six months from now. It doesn't really matter how you do it. As long as that 3K is paid during the course of 12 months, then you can make six figures per year if you have the right math down with what you're doing with your business. And it's not going to matter to me if you're selling one-on-one -on -one training or group training. There's plenty of coaches that we've worked with that sell group training for over $3,000. Um, and if you do the math on that, all right, if we take 3,000 divided by 12 months, that's $250 per month. If you have a great service, you can charge more than $250 per month. So I'm just using that as an example. All right. So if you just want to close three or more deals per month, you can get to six figures. Ideally, you're getting all of that up front. That's the way I prefer. That's the way we try to teach coaches that we work with. Um, this way, there's more skin in the game from your clients, right? Next is only committed types of buyers will invest. Someone that is flaky will not give you 3K up front. Um, it's not in their nature to commit that much money um, to anything. So they're not going to, like a flaky person is not going to just give you the money. And if that ended up happening, well, they would give you the money and they wouldn't show up to the sessions. And that's not going to hurt your business, but that's not great to have that type of client. But those types of clients generally will not give you 3K up front. Um, and so what we have here is committed types of clients will give you the money. People that won't be that committed, we can create down sales for them so they can still be a customer in some capacity, but they won't get your full program. And I love that because... You can cast a big net in your area and the ones who are the most serious, they're going to purchase your high ticket thing. Everyone else can still buy something else, but again, they're not going to get the same service, right? That is ideally how we like to help coaches grow their business. Big net, high ticket over here, everybody else over here, all right? And that's why if you have clinics, camps, um, if you're really organized with your contacts, there's so many other opportunities that you can create for lower end customers. So you're not just relying only on high ticket. All right. Uh, next is with high ticket, you're never going to chase anyone down for money. Like once they commit, they commit. And if you do things kind of the way that we teach, which is like you put people on annual plans, once they pay, they're going to be billed every year. And if they love your service, you shouldn't be talking to them about signing up again because why would they want to leave? All right. Uh, next is, this is great for you and your business. It's like your client has a much higher chance of getting the results with you. 
the whole point of this business is to help kids get results. You cannot help someone who is not committed. No matter how hard you try, no matter how great of a coach you are, you cannot help someone that is doesn't have skin in the game. So for you, if you want to have a higher chance of getting results across the board with your clients, high ticket is best because they're paying everything at once. And the likelihood of someone paying everything at once and not showing up is very low, all right? The likelihood of someone doing session by session and then coming every single week for a year is very low too. So we want to raise the percentages here. And the way you raise the percentage is collecting more money up front. They have more skin in the game. They're more serious and they're paying for the result, all right? Uh, next year, this is one of my favorites because this is one of the biggest problems I see that coaches have. Um, after someone signs up, you don't need to go back and forth with them and schedule sessions because once they sign up, it's already set, set day, set time, set schedule, set calendar. Um, you're not going back and forth and saying, Hey, do you guys want to train tomorrow at this time? That goes out the window if you do it properly. All right. And that saves you so much time. I know most coaches out there spend honestly, like coaches that are doing this full time spend probably between three to five hours per week just on scheduling, going back and forth, email, text, phone calls with parents. That in itself is it's a part-time job. We don't need you to focus on that anymore. And when you sell high ticket, that goes away. Uh, next here is uh, you as a coach, your confidence goes up knowing that you can get results across the board. And it, so it makes it way easier to sell high ticket when you know, okay, if my client's going to be here for at least six months, I know they're going to get the result. So you have more time as a, as a coach to get the result with those clients and your confidence goes up, which means it's easier to sell high ticket when you have that confidence level. All right. If you don't have that confidence level, it's really hard. All right. Uh, next one here is you build a book of repeat customers and high end referrals. So I want you to imagine a parent prepays $3,000 today. Obviously, they're not going to just give you the money. Right? They, they go through a process before they give you the money. But let's say they make the investment. Once they make the investment, any referral that they're bringing to you is probably going to be like-minded. And parents talk. So if, if a parent asks them, well, how much is it? Like Parents that uh, are friends with others, like they're going to bring their network into your business, Me which means the people that they bring in are going to have the funds available to do this, all right? Like people hang out with each other. <laughs> so if you're dealing with with parents that have a lot of money, it's pretty likely their friends are going to be in the same sort of like social circle, economic, like background. Like, so that's great for you, all right? Which means like if you just have like 20 really, really committed high-end clients, they're going to bring their network over to you, which is huge for your business. All right. And again, once you make the sell, you're not going back to someone and saying, Hey, do you guys want to keep training with me? All right. And that makes your business really stressful when you have to worry, Oh, are they going to stay in my program? Are they leaving? That causes stress within the business. And that really does screw up your training business because you don't want to show up to sessions with that lingering in the back of your mind. You want to show up to your sessions, just focus on your service. And it's way less stressful when you know, all right, I have a book of business here. Everyone's committed and everyone's on a contract. So if they're on a contract, I don't, it's not my responsibility to ask them if they want to continue. It's their responsibility to cancel if they don't like the service. And if you have those things in order, your business long-term makes way more money. All right. Uh, and the last one is, and we've kind of already gone through this, but you, you have way more peace financially within the business because you're not dealing with hundreds of flaky clients. And this is the, this is the thing, like right now when I'm shooting this video, it's 2023. Um, just in the last week, I've talked to right about 20 coaches and all of these coaches that I've spoken with that need help with their business, they have clients like they have enough clients to make this a successful business but they're dealing with the wrong clients they're dealing with flaky clients that don't show up don't pay on time uh, don't take it serious and it's better for you to have let like a lower volume of clients that are really serious than a super high volume of people that you can't keep track of 
All right. So that's really important. Uh, you're going to have way more peace within the business when you're not having to deal with too many people. All right. Now, this is the reality. All right. I just painted the picture. If you if you do things the way that we just talked about, it's going to work for you. Now, this is what most people struggle with. All right. And this is why I'm talking about this, because I don't want to just talk about the, the good side of this. I want to to show you. All right. Well, if you're doing what I'm about to show you here, then you're going to have to change. And if you don't change, high ticket sales will never work for you. All right. So first, and this is the number one thing. All right. If you lack experience getting real results with clients, it's going to be it's not impossible, but it's going to be really hard to sell high ticket. Unless you have the confidence that what you do works with people. All right. So let me give you an example. If I have never trained a client before and I try to start this business and I put together this offer that's high ticket, it's going to be really difficult for me to try to with like with real confidence to try to sell that because I don't know what it feels like yet to get real results with clients. Now, if I have real results with clients, my confidence level goes up because I know what I'm doing works with people, all right? So coaches that are new to business that try to do this, they always fail because they, they don't even know what it, it's like to work with a client, all right? Better yet, to even get results. So that's something that's really important for you is if you're good at getting results with people, high ticket's good. All right. If you lack experience with that, high ticket's bad. All right. Next one here, and this is pretty common with a lot of coaches. Um, you aren't dependable and you don't actually have a good service. So people are paying you and you're late. You reschedule all the time, you go out of town all the time. You're not a person of your word. Like high ticket is is going to bite you in the butt because you're getting people to pay you and then like you're not even delivering on your service. So most coaches struggle to sell high ticket because they're not organized. They're late. Like they're they're not really delivering on what they say. So why sell high ticket in the first place? All right. Pretty important there. Uh, next one, it, I put three asterisks by this. It's because this becomes probably the biggest pain point for most people that sell high ticket, which is you aren't marketing yourself at a local level to get steady clients. So imagine this. It's the beginning of the month and no leads are coming in. How are you going to sell high ticket? All right. You need to have leads to sell high ticket because with leads, not every single person is going to commit. Even if it's high ticket or low ticket, not everyone's going to commit. So you got to have const a constant flow of leads coming in in order to make this work. So if you're bad at marketing or you're not marketing at all, or you're not open to new ideas of marketing, high ticket's going to suck for you because you're not giving yourself opportunities at the plate every single day to make swings, right? And I expect, and this is pretty common, coaches that, that I've worked with that do high ticket, they're closing roughly like 30 to 40% of the calls that they do. So if they talk to 10 people in one week, they might sell three of these, right? If you sell three, 3K three in one week, that's 9K of income in one week. For most coaches, that would change your life, all right? Very possible. Uh, so you have to have the leads. If you don't have steady leads, it's, it's gonna suck, all right? Uh, next one is also really important. So many coaches, when they get to the finish line with a new client, they just text, DM, or email the prices with the instructions to pay. We don't want to do that. Um, and here's why. If a parent is interested in your service and you text them, hey, it's $3,000 to work with us, the chances of them signing up that day are very slim. They don't know what you're offering. They don't know how it works. They haven't talked to you over the phone. You don't have a process. So it's very difficult <laughs> to sell something high ticket unless you actually spend time with the person. And the way I look at it is like one 30 minute call with a parent could result in 3k. All right. So that means, uh, every 10 minutes on that call, you're making a thousand dollars. Pretty cool. Impossible to do that. <laughs> uh, in my opinion, uh, if you're just texting or emailing and you're not clarifying what 
your business is and, and the outcome that you're selling. All right. Uh, next one, this is a huge problem. That's why it doesn't work for a lot of people. Uh, you're not professional from day one with the first interaction between you and the client or and the prospect. So like example, they reach out on your website. It takes you a week to get back or they, you guys schedule a call and then you miss the call. You're too busy or you do the call and it's too loud in the background. Um, or you do the call and you're disorganized. They, these are things that affect your sales. No matter where you're at in business right now, if you're starting, you've been doing this for a long time, you have to be a pro from day one with that person. And again, like if they're going to invest into you and trust you with their child, you need to be the most professional person in your area to stand out. And got to do that. All right. That's just very black and white. All right. Uh, next year is you're disorganized with scheduling calls and tracking performance. So I'm going to give you a great example. This happened yesterday when I spoke to a coach over the phone, I was talking with this guy and he told me, he was like, yeah, like over the last month I've had parents come to my website and I've had parents message me on Instagram and I just haven't had time to get back to them. And I said, well, how many people have reached out about training over the last month? And he said, yeah, there's been about 20 people that I just haven't had time to talk with. And I was like, okay, well, like you're losing money right now because you don't have the time. So we either need to create the time or we need to train someone that can do those calls for you. And so if you're disorganized with taking these calls and actually tracking the calls, you're losing money. There's right off the bat, um, I can come into pretty much anybody's business and spot, I mean, at this point, I can spot at least 2K per month to 5K per month of lost sales because that's not working correctly, um, which long term is like 24K to 50 or 60K uh, of added income that you should be making if that was corrected. So if that is corrected, high ticket sales is awesome because like you're tracking everything. You're taking every call. Like that's that's working like a machine. All right. Uh, next one, this one's really important. It, it's I've talked about this in other videos on our channel, but if you make a lot of money and you're spending a lot of money, you're, you're living like this big baller on Instagram, like you could do that. Better be making a lot of sales though. <laughs> uh, otherwise, you're going to be blowing all your money. So you got to be smart with what you're doing with your money, even if you're making a lot. Like you can't just increase your lifestyle because you had one month where you make 10K. All right. Life is not going to change if you have one month where you make 10K. Like you need to have consistent months. So managing your money is really important. Um, and lastly, this one's probably the most obvious, but uh, high ticket sales is terrible if you're afraid of rejection, right? If you are afraid to ask over the phone for a higher sum of money, it's never going to happen. And if you are afraid to ask and you ask, it's going to be sniffed out by the person who's purchasing from you. They will sense how timid you are. They will sense how disorganized you are. They will sense that um, you weren't confident with your process. So this is one of those things like you have to be able to shift from, oh, I don't know if I should do this to no, I'm doing this and I'm going to have a plan if someone can't afford this. It's very different. And I'm going to explain to you very clearly how I shifted my mindset in 2015. So in 2015, I had a lot of clients, right? Like literally had hundreds of clients in 2014, had a lot of clients in 2015. Um, we had coaches on staff. We had a lot of stuff in place. And I wanted to it eventually, like my, my goal was like, I wanted to have the highest training program for one-on-one -on -one training and I wanted to have a really valuable group training program that was more expensive than what most people were charging for one-on-one. -on -one. And I realized that in order for me to do that, I had to create an offer that was so valuable that no one else would dare to offer. All right. So I had to do that, but I also had to bend my mindset and realize this isn't for everyone. And it was easy for me to do that. Ultimately, because like I had the demand. I had a lot of people asking for training. Why? Well, we had the experience. We had the reputation. We had the marketing down. There were new people wanting training all the time. So I realized, well, why not increase the price for really committed people? And then those who aren't committed, they can come into camps and clinics and still be a customer. 
I can have things for lower end clients, but I can have a, an elite service for higher end clients. So I had to shift my mindset. This wasn't something I was just born with. I, I'm not a natural born salesperson. Um, and I had to go through a lot of rejection. All right. And that was part of it, but I tracked the rejection. I figured out what the objections were with parents and I figured out how to overcome those. And that was something like, if, again, if you go back to the middle here, right? If I was too afraid to market myself, I couldn't have those calls. Um, if we didn't have a good service, I wouldn't have the confidence to do it. All right. If we didn't have real results, again, I wouldn't have the confidence to, to make an offer like that. All right. So these are things that, again, high tickets really hard if you struggle with these things. And the good news is you can get better at these things. The, the, just because you're bad at it now doesn't mean you can't improve. All right. And here's what to do next. All right. If you watch this and you're like, wow, like I want help with this or I want to grow my business. All right. There's two ways that I'm helping coaches right now. So first is like, if you want our step-by-step -step application and sales process to plug into your business, our accelerator program, that is what we do. Like we teach you how to do it and we coach you on how to do it. So this way you have that set up. It's built. It's ideal for you if you want to start selling high ticket the way I just showed you. All right. So if you want to learn more about that, text me at this number right here, 210-960-5771. I spend most of my day now talking to coaches that are interested in getting our help. So send me a text there. That's the easiest way to get to me. And I can set up a quick 10 minute call and see if what we have is a good fit. All right. It's not a sales call. It is a call where I can learn more about what you're doing. Um, and then from there, if, if I feel like we can help you, then I'll tell you that. And then I'll show you a video that can clarify what we do, how it works and how it can help you. All right. Second way that I can help you is we have a promotions club now. Now this is probably one of the coolest things that we've done in our business the last seven years. Um, Cause the last seven years I've spent a lot of time one-on-one -on -one with coaches writing promotions giving coaches copy and paste emails, copy and paste text scripts, copy and paste um, phone scripts to close clients uh, from pr uh, promotions. And uh, one of the things that I know most coaches lack is like they don't run enough promotions. Most people just run one promotion per year on Black Friday or on Christmas. And the thing is, is like your business could be doing so much better if you promote your business harder. So what we do is we just give you once a month, we give you copy paste promotion to run. These are promotions that I've already done personally, things that I've already done with coaches that have already proven to work. Um, and it just gets delivered to you in a document. And literally all you do is you copy and paste in your business. You don't need to watch videos. You don't need to learn anything. You don't even need to ask any questions. You just need to go copy and paste it. So if you want uh, to be part of our club, all you have to do is go in the link in the description and you'll be able to click through there and you can see what it is. We have a, like a one page sales page, really simple. Um, and if you are interested and maybe you have questions, then feel free to text me at that number. I can clarify it. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.